Dear friends, hello. I'm David Afromov, and I came back to my little home office in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. So I arrived uh, yesterday, and today I decided to do the live broadcast. Today I want to talk with you tonight, I like to talk with you about the value of the painting. What is the real value of the artworks done by Leon? How much they cost? How much they will cost? Good question. I spoke today with my friend and he asked me the questions like how to determine real value of the painting. What is determining the real value of the painting? It's a super good question. And it's I don't think it's going to be easy to answer. You know, one year ago, we used to sell unique originals almost for nothing. Basically, just for survival, for advertisement purposes, we sold some originals for 250. My father had a lot of good and crazy promotions because he loved to give something away to the buyers and he was hoping it's going to attract more people. So I don't know if he did it right or if he did it wrong. I, of course, I'm not here to judge. It's going to be like really not good. To sell paintings cheap, it was, you know, our business is difficult. We're not uh, companies that sell a million dollar paintings, no. It's a home decor. My father was doing home decoration and he was selling home decoration. This was his idea. It's different waves of home decoration, unique original, original, original limited edition, original recreation, recreation done by studio. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of different paintings. Today we're going to talk about each one of them, about each painting that we used to sell. Now, after my father gone, uh, basically it's not many originals left and we determined we're not going to sell them. We sold some surprises and at this point we stopped. Of course, if you can afford $200,000 to give us for the painting, $150,000, we're going to give it to you. Does it mean that the value of the original one now become to be $150,000 after he passed away? I don't think so. We just have value for our family. Our family don't want, don't want to sell them cheaper. Why? Because nobody going to paint the new pieces. This painting is going to stay as a memory of my father. I even buying originals from the people. I remember a year ago, somebody bought from me original for 250 And I called him and said, remember, you bought for 250 Can you, Do you want to sell it? He said, yeah, $500. So I even did deals like this. So I bought these originals. Why? Because some of them bring us good memories. It was like, it's a memory. This is why I need them. But what's the real value? Today, we're never going to determine the real value. Basically, Sotheby's Christie's the auction house that tells the value. Mm, they still don't sell our paintings. Maybe in future, they're going to sell it and uh, they're going to determine the value. For me, it's priceless. For you, I believe it's also priceless. And I tell you why. We spoke today with my friend. He asked a very nice question. You sold hundreds, maybe thousands of original in the, in the period of 30 years. Why nobody sells them? I think the answer is very simple. People do love this painting. They do love them. They really love what they bought. So they don't want to sell them. This is why on eBay, maybe five, six originals listed. Tons of uh, fake, some other stuff that we're reporting daily. But real originals, not many. This, I think, is the re reason. People don't want to resell my father paintings before the, because they do love them. This was his main goal. Because, you know, we started to sell 2010 online. And from 2004 to 2000, no, we started so 2000, and from 2004 till 2010, we sold on eBay, and it was like two, three paintings a day. No recreation at the time, just my father was working 12 hours a day, creating, creating. I was lucky to buy only one painting from this period. Try to imagine, 
We sold Bing Bing. We had 3,800 of these, probably 5,000 items. And I only was lucky to buy one. People simply don't want to depart with the paintings. It's been, it's priceless. It's really, it's been paintings are priceless because people don't want to resell them. And I think it's a good indication. So what do we offer now? It's the main questions that people ask me. So David, so you have some secret originals, you have some play, places where you hide some original paintings? No. Or all original hang in my mom, mom, my house, my mother's house, and Boris's house. And uh, I'm not planning to sell any any of them. So it's a period. My last, uh, even it's not unique original, it's limited edition original. I sold two weeks ago, and I said in this email, farewell to my promotions. No more promotions from David Ackerman. And at this point, we st I stopped. Why? Because it's a painting over. It's not going to be found. Well, we found new piece. Another new piece. No. Recreations. Uh, we have some uh, cancellations orders, so of course we put it in them on the side. We have some returns from galleries of recreations. Yes, it's, it's a regular ongoing process. It's also going to end up soon. So, what we have to offer? We have, first of all, we have to offer unique originals. For example, something like this. I bought it on eBay. Take a look. This piece dated 2005. Basically, it's the first originals, one of the first originals that we started to sell on eBay. We started on eBay 2004, and this piece 2005. Take a look. I bought it for nothing. I paid $99. It sold was, I believe, maybe a couple hundred, 15 years ago, but for me, it's priceless. So if somebody wants to buy it, he needs to give me a really nice offer. Because for me, it's priceless, it's super good condition. Take a look. It's just beginning of learning that from online. It's just little by little bit. Okay. okay, I'm gonna fix it later. So what do we offer now? On afromov.com website, you can buy recreation finished and signed by my father. Not many left. It's a category deal of the day and a couple other categories. It's few pieces. Soon they also gonna get they also gonna disappear from the site because we basically starting to they're gonna be all this piece is gonna be over. What else? We have limited edition G clicks. And we have uh, studio recreations. What's mean studio recreation? My father had an art studio, real artist that created paintings together with him. How's the recreation done? Let me explain. What's the difference? Original, limited edition original, and uh, recreation and studio recreation. So one by one, very simple. Actually, it's everything described on the side, but some people not reading. So, unique original is simple. My father wake up and say, okay, today I'm gonna create this painting. Boom, he created one of a kind. That's it, simple. What's mean limited edition originals? These originals we usually sell on promotion, used to sell on promotion. All 2017 and part of 2018, little bit 2019 and, no, actually 2019 we did, I don't believe we sold it. And uh, little 2020, maybe two, two promotions. It's original painting created by my father, but not unique. What does it mean? Oh, I created this painting uh, and I love it, but it's sold out. So let me paint another one. Boom, sold out again. Hmm, let me paint another one and another one. But he does it himself for his, his own collection, for his own use. This is called limited edition original. It's very limited. In some of them five pieces, some of them ten pieces, some of them three pieces. It's an original, but not the first unique one of a kind. After that, we have recreation. Recreation, it's a process painting. What does that mean? 
studio do the ground sometime my father do the grounds they finish it's done together with the studio by my father so my father together with the studio creating this painting this is called recreation very simple so this piece is not limited edition some of the recreation done a lot for some painting for some few this our this was our main product till basically Ju June July 2019. Then we also start offering recreation done by the studio. It's a copy of my father's artworks, 100% hand painted by his studio artists. They sign differently. They have different certification, but it's a painting of my father done by the people that studied from him. It's very, very important. So he passed his legacy to the new artists that now creating copies of his works. Soon, sometimes they're gonna start publishing their own paintings. So it's important. So they're gonna start publishing the old painting so far. They don't grow up yet for it. So far, I don't have many paintings from them to show, but someday I will. We have very talented artists like Christian, Andrea, Moyana, like people that work in the studio, they are really, really talented. So this is studio recreation. Now it's our main product. On my side right now, we have about 100 recreation done by Leoni. They are category of the Afrom of paintings. And we have about 2,000 recreation done by the studio. Also, we have few prints. So prints, it's something different. Prints is print. Also, we have hand embellished print that my father had embellished himself and he signed himself. And also we have hand embellished by studio. Uh, to distinguish these two pieces, you can do only by signature because print is print. And hand embellished by my father or by studio, to see the big difference, it's not possible. But so far, this piece is not even listed on the site. We will not list them because I have other plans for them. So how, what's going to happen next with our company? How are we going to grow up? What's going to be the next? Uh, as you know, in New York, I'm trying to open the small art gallery. Then we're going to sell my father's paintings. And this is going to be the business. So I'm trying to open as much as possible. Oops, painting fell on me because I didn't make it correctly. Correct. So I try to open as much as possible art galleries in the uh oh. Maybe I don't need to open art gallery. Here, anything fell twice. Uh, so we're trying to open very small art galleries around the world, and uh, there we're gonna sell paintings of, of our studio. Uh, it's gonna be like small, small galleries, like 30, 40 meter, with about 200 pieces inside. When people can walk and buy. So my next step, I want to go together with online sales. I would like to go to offline sales. So I would like people will see the paintings, not only online, but also offline. So they can touch it, they can grab it, they can hold it. Well, it's a good question. What's the correct way to hang painting? <laughs> you just saw my painting fell out. How I hang paintings? I hang them very simple. Just put nail in the wall. Hold on. Hold on. Here is a paint. Here is a nail. I just looking paint. That's it. So this is this is the best way to hang paint. Uh, nothing complicated. If paintings are huge, yes. In this case, you need special hangers. And it's complicated, but small paintings easy. 
So my next legacy is going to be my next uh, way to make my father famous. It's to open small art galleries so people can see um, his artwork in the new. Even not his artwork, the recreation done by the studio. But even though they need to see the new, they need to touch it. They need to feel these pieces. Because these pieces are unique, one of a kind, and good. So far, if somebody interested, he can use it and go to Afromom.com website. There you can buy recreations done by my father. And good question about originals. What originals? If you want to buy a unique one of a kind original, choose whatever you like and contact me. Of course, the price 200000 is just to avoid people from, let's say, somebody with a lot of money. Oh, I want it for five grand, I can buy. No. We have no goal to sell it. But if you are a good collector and you want to increase your collection, contact me and we can negotiate real price. Like, it's going to be cheaper, but not much. Some pieces my mom said she don't want to sell even for 10 minutes. It's, you know, it's a memory. It's not only the money, it's a memory. It's a memory of my father, a memory of what he does. So this is what, this what we have, this is what we had on site. Originals, you guys had a good opportunity to purchase them 2007, 2018, 2018, 2017, 18 was very difficult. I don't know why my father tried to attract people to come back to the site almost every day. He was doing some small original and he gave it almost for free. Buy one, get original for free. Buy this. He did so many promotions. He was so hard worker. And as a result, now people that uh, I had buyer call me today said, Look, eight months ago you have nice promotion, original for 189. I decided to take it. I said even for eighteen thousand dollars, you cannot have it. Right now. It doesn't mean the value go up that high. I want you to understand. It simply means I don't want to sell it. So I don't know legally its value grew up or not, and nobody can say correctly. I had some appraisal comes and check, they said, these are our value, average value. Very difficult to say because buyers that have my father work, they don't sell them. And it's mean we don't have competition to my prices. So let's say we have gallery here, when I hang it in the gallery, if people enter, for example, you see on the website it says regular price 650 and now it's 149. So if you go to my gallery, you will see price 650. So it's it's legit. It's all correct. But what's the real value? It's difficult to say because big auction houses don't sell my paintings. They don't have it. And uh, the only place we'll sell is us. So now we're going to start to sell Aftermov. So for example, in the future, you want to buy Aftermov, even recreation. And you don't sell it. So you go online and what you will see, you will see, uh, you will pay whatever price people ask you for it. It can be thousand, ten thousand, whatever you're going to negotiate. Today, the price is fixed by us, but in a couple of days, no more recreation done by my father listed on the site, even signed by my father. And then the price is the price going to depend on the market. And if nobody, like same as originals, nobody now selling them, the price go up because it's, it's all depend on demand. Now people know to buy Afrom of Recreation and Afrom of that kind. But after they're going to be sold out here, people start looking elsewhere. And uh, of course the price elsewhere is going to be different because people bought from me 149. In 10 years they said, oh, I want $2,000. And if you want to buy it, you will have no or other option you have to pay. So very difficult to say what is the price for the painting? Nobody can tell. Recreation, fixed price, oh, but also fixed price. 
we have deal 149 and a couple hours deal over 349 so if you bought 149 and now 349 it's it you bought cheaper than it costs now with unique originals much more complicated because we do not have we don't sell them only market offer you and nobody on ebay it's like one to buyers that sell real aftermath and very old aftermath like 1995 and uh, mo modern aftermath that i love most you know for sale i try to you know i spent a couple thousand dollars already people crying for my displays because i buy or receive fake i buy or receive fake one time i received even something like a toy Nice toy, but you know, it's like uh, you never know what you're gonna receive. Of course, PayPal recovers the money, they work fantastic, but you never know what you're gonna receive. So, I bought all the items that I saw on eBay that I know based on the image, it's original. Only one arrived real original, everything else arrived some metal car. Uh, one, my daughter took it with plush toy. So, of course, uh, you can file dispute. Is that what I did? Yes, a car. I was sure it's a painting. It says old Vitebs car, car painting was image of the painting. And I received car. I like it, by the way, but of course, I filed the dispute. And of course, I got money back. Or if you remember, about two weeks ago, we tried to buy painting of eBay with a frame. And when the buyer realizes it's me, Dmitry Afromov, trying to buy the painting, he can he stop to contact me, not shipping nothing. I sent hundreds of emails, nobody asked for even. Why? Because I know for sure this painting is not there. So it's it's obvious uh, that price of the original so far is priceless. First of all, it's very good. It's priceless. Second of all. That is bad, not possible to determine what price it is. No, no many people sell it. People don't want to sell it. In a couple of years, when buyer will say, I want really from of original, and he start looking, then it's gonna work. Now, I saw recreations, but in a couple of days, it's gonna be over, it's it. We have not many. Now we listed new category with recreation from cancellations. What mean cancellation? Cancellation is not returns. It's if buyer, by for some reason, decided to cancel the deal. It could be happened with thousands of reasons, like family issue, like change from their mind, whatever. It's not important. It's important the paintings didn't left the office, so the quality is the same. So now we updated the the site. I listing these paintings and. Soon, I'm going to offer them to the buyer. So far, it's 149. Some of them, some 349, depend on the size. Where to buy them? Very easy, just view of the day. We list it, let me see, hold on. Actually, my father was very proud with the deal of the day section because he created this combination deal of the day. He think he created this combination. So you just go to this name. By the way, here we have not only paintings, we also have sets. Some sets uh, also came back to us, and now we're selling them too. Okay. Okay, what? Okay. Okay, so the sets also the same. So this is very interesting. I don't know what's going to be in the future. My goal, uh, my vision, it's Afro of Gallery in every city. So every city, people can buy my father paintings, phone cases. This, I would say, I succeed, and it's my life goal reached. Maybe it's not going to go. Maybe people will prefer to buy online. I don't know. We will know it in six, five months from now. So far, to be honest, I don't have experience with my own galleries. Usually it was franchise galleries that buy paintings from us, 
and we sell it. They do good. But to manage own gallery, gallery, chain of galleries, it's going to be something new. I try it. I'm trying, and it's going to be New York, then I hope Chicago, Florida, of course, and little by little, all the United States and Europe. I send in my assistant Alicia soon to Spain. She's going to fly there and she's going to open the first European gallery. It's going to call Afrom of Europe first. Then it's hopefully it's going to be second. So I don't know. So if you are watching outside of the United States and you want to have Afrom of Gallery in your city, let me know. I'm going to be happy to open it there. United States and Canada, I do it myself. Latin America, welcome. Except Mexico, Mexico will do it here. Uh, anywhere, just send me a message, say, hey David, I want to sell your paintings in my gallery. I want to have a gallery, let's say, I don't know where, like Italy, Rome, whatever. I want to have paintings there. The only request, some people, some art gallery said, oh, can I put your stuff in my gallery? So, no, 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 no. We do not consign, we do not work in combination with other merchandise. It's only our paintings. Only our paintings. Only paintings done by Leon from of course, his studio. Of course, most likely it's a studio painting, it's not my father, because we understand it's not possible to supply. I have, by the way, how many I have left? Hold on. I have about 100 pieces from translations and wow, by the way, very nice piece. Wow, Boris listed as deal of the day. Take a look. It's a consolation. Wife not approved the purchase. Take a look. This piece. Cat in red. It's, it's a copy, it's not an original, of course, but the copy is identical. It's such a beautiful copy, damn. But it's done in the exact size, like the buyer, he, of course, he wasn't able to afford the real unique original, so he ordered the copy. But he said, I want copy as close as possible. He did it. And then his wife said, no, not approved. Actually, he approved me to tell the story. I spoke with him today, he said, tell it, I want to listen. So yes, and now we sell it at the same price as we sold him, $250. It's cheap price. But this is unique, really unique. It's exactly as you see online, almost exactly like. Very good quality. Okay, so any questions? Okay, shipping is to Boris, shipping at aftermath.com. Uh, now, yes, now shipping is super fast because we have almost uh, all paintings in stock. Of my father paintings, we do have them in stock, so we ship them instantly. And uh, studio works, we also have almost everything in stock. So we ship it very fast. So now, average delivery time is four days. So you buy today, you got it in three days. Some of the pieces we got uh, complications in shipping some of the originals, so we needed to ship them to Florida. So from Florida, they're going to be shipped to the buyers. It's a couple of logistic mistakes. You know, each logistic mistake is a done, cost me a lot of nerves and me and Boris and a lot of nerves to the buyers. Because, you know, wrong fill the form and all the container stuck. And the person that do it, it just a regular employee that maximum that I can do, I can fire him. And that's anyway, it's going to be my fault because we train them. So just, you know, wrong form filled out. And it said it's stuck and it's delay, delay again, delay again, delay. Nightmare. Thank you, Mary. Is this why people don't sell paintings? Because they love them. Nobody, no other artist can say this. They don't want to sell, not because of the fast profit. 
it is what and they know it's nothing that they're going to be doing. Okay. Also, mm, I received a couple emails from some buyers. The paintings damaged in flood. What to do? Uh, it's a good question, but if painting was inside under the water and you took it out and you put it on the wall, mold can happen. And in this case, you can lose your paint. Painting, don't afraid of water. If you spray it, you know, like you spray it and you clean it. But I spoke today with one person. It was flood, the painting was underwater for three days. Then she put it on the wall back. But people, you have your clothes, you wash your clothes. You don't put your wet t-shirt on the wall. Wet gonna become mold. Same happened to the painting. So basically, now we need to restore the painting. And it's complicated, expensive, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen because we don't really know how to do it correctly with this kind of problem. Because with the problem, it's on the sides where the water was accumulated. It's become moldy. Other sides become moldy, but in the center, I was examining painting myself today. In the center is also mold, and with a finger, you can go through it easily. So it should be big restoration, and I'm not sure if we can save it. So please, paintings, they're not afraid of the direct sun. They do not afraid of water if you spray it, but if you put under water, it's a problem. Then you need to dry it, and to dry it very, very, very good. Also, some issue we had with another person. The painting also was in flood, and he took this iron, he started to iron it, and he just basically, it's a real linen, so it's like, it start to become, the painting was almost destroyed. So we needed to glue, to take these pieces of paint, what left, glue it on the canvas, paint. It was a huge job of restoration, cost him tons of money, really tons of money and but we saved this painting but it, it was really big big issue my father himself not uh, before not long time before he passed away he had the painting with the cats mm, it was hanging on the wall and it fell down on the stairs and uh, something like broke apart the canvas, so it basically make a hole this size in the painting. And I even had an offer to, to buy it even with a hole, but my father wanted to repair it, not succeed. So he succeeded, but painting lost. Because, you know, you cannot glue it completely, you have a distance. So underneath this distance, he glue another canvas, so he, it's complicated, and he said, I don't want him to sell it. If painting went under water, it's a problem. To dry it correctly, you, need, you cannot dry it. You need to leave it on some surface. First of all, so all water go. Okay, let's go first. If painting is stretched, you need to unstretch it if it's wet. No choice. Stretcher bar done. If stretcher bar went under the water, it's going to be propeller. First of all, you unstretch it. Then you put it flat, face down, only face down when you dry, this room with a lot of air, not iron, not hot, just put it up in the room. Good. Air conditioner also can do it, good air conditioner for dry region. You dry it little by little. After it, it dry completely. Oil, as the canvas itself, dry slowly. It can take three, five days to dry completely. After it dry completely, you know it dry completely, Take, uh, you know, like a sanitizer, how it's called, like baby weight wipes, and uh, wash it with baby wipes to remove the mold. After, even if it's no mold, just try to remove it, to clean it. Then dry it again, just in the room, leave it. The, after it dry completely, go to the frame shop and reframe it. First of all, original hour of autumn, 
not sell by parts. And uh, I don't have it. The original auto photo sold. We have recreation done by my father. Not original. It's, ori it's a painting done by my father, but it's not unique. We have it. It's cost 199 set of three. But I cannot break it because I cannot, I did not sell them apart. Then it's a good deal because one painting gonna cost 149, so three set cost uh, 199. It's a good deal. Done by my father. Okay. So dry painting is very, very serious. I never had this issue before. Uh, only one time my customer uh, burned down the painting, but in this case, I can just say nothing we can do. I even don't understand how it's happened, but he burned down, but not only painting, it was crazy. But uh, water, very careful. If painting go under water completely, front of the painting don't afraid of water because oil is water resistant but back of the painting if it's a lot of water it cannot damage the front but what will happen it's going to create mold and mold will destroy canvas and painting fall apart it's important okay so i'm gonna come back to cleaning my house for mold because it was i wasn't being here for a month and now we need to wash it and clean it anyway i need to come back to the states in a couple days so thank you for watching i'm david afromov don't forget pieces that now deal of the dates pieces create most of the pieces created by my father to avoid any mistakes please por favor read the description it's super important for me for you because in case if you buy something and you don't like it because you misread the description, you need to return it to get a refund. And the only person that's going to get money here is UPS because everybody pays me. So to read descriptions, two seconds. You just read original by Afromo, recreation by Afromo, or studio work, two seconds. And then there's no issues. No, I'm not paying, my brother also don't paint. We don't have this talent. Maybe our kids or grandkids gonna have this talent. Thank you very much. I'm David Afterman. Hi, Steve Nichols, your painting was shit. Your painting have a history almost around World free. <laughs> I'm gonna take five minutes, I'm gonna tell if you don't mind about your paintings, it's tremendous. Let's say person buying painting and by mistake my shipping send recreation instead of original. Original ship other place of the globe to other person. It took us almost a year to understand where the painting, to recover the painting, and to send it to the correct owner. So it's mistakes that, basically it's the longest mistakes that took us to fix. Because, you know, my goal is to make everybody happy. But sometimes when we ship paints into the wrong recipient and he don't want to return it, that's it. The only thing that we do is return, refund the payment. Payment always refunded immediately in case of any shipping errors or delays like almost immediately like no question asked so today the buyer said oh i didn't receive the painting uh, like uh, somebody took it first we refund the payment then we start the investigation same happened with this painting but now we recover it but it was a long long story really long because we need to receive it here restore check it and some paintings have story, life story with them. For example, painting behind, oh no, behind me, no, this one, this one, have a huge story. This painting was sold to South Africa. 
in South Africa, when it arrives, a person divorced with his wife, he decided to cancel the painting. So he shipped it back. UPS, he miss the label was misprinted. Actually, we, it's our mistake, we gave him wrong label. It was delivered to Australia to the wrong buyer. The buyer was very upset because he didn't want this painting and he sent it back. But when it's arrived back, the case has mistake, it was delivered somewhere in Germany, <laughs> in the hub. In the hub, it was sitting for three months and then we, we found where it's located, it was delivered to Mexico. But because it was delivered with no paperwork, it was sitting in the customs office here for about a month till we recovered. And now it's come back and I said, you know what, I even don't want to sell. Because this painting traveled more than I in the lifetime. So it's very, very long. Some paintings have very long trips to do. But it's, it's a business, it's a life, it's shipping, you know. We ship a lot of paintings daily and paintings, prints, posters, so the mistakes could happen. All right, thank you very much. Any personal question about paintings, my email, david.com, or WhatsApp, you have my WhatsApp, you can contact me, but through Facebook, no personal questions can be answered, just nice stories. Thank you very much, and David Afromov. Afromov.